Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 22 of Crestorio. Night vision research done. Any other researches we can get out of the, of the way now? This requires... Utility tech cards. It's just thinking about if we can do stuff with robots other than having them in our inventory, but that doesn't seem like the case. We can't request them until we get utility tech cards and then research this stuff. Logistic systems. Can have logistic robots bring stuff to us though. If we want to, but well, I guess we could do that. Then we won't have to run around with too much different stuff in our inventory, as long as we know that we get some from time to time. Should we do that? We could also work on getting a bigger armor, or oh, an armor with a bigger equipment grid. Which I guess is hidden behind military. It is not, it is just hidden behind this. What do we need to make it? Processing units, which we don't have yet. But I guess we could pretty fast finish those. And the equipment size would go from 4x4 four four to 6x6. Six six. Hmm. I guess that would be good. Let's work towards it at least. I don't think it's that critical that we get out and bring stuff in with trains just yet. So, yeah. Should we start making some robots Or logistic robots, I guess. We need more steel. Mainly because we need steel beams, so let's go and grab some of those. He should be just up here. And we need more advanced circuits then. Good, that gives us some amount at least. Then I guess we should get some robot frames so we can make some logistics robots. Let's start with 100 I guess. And let's make some provider chests. And then it's just the... Uh, oh, we haven't gotten logistic robots yet. Where would they be? Nope. Am I just blind? Shouldn't they be in this line? Logistic. Okay, it's in logistic robots, of course. This icon just looks so much like logistic trash slots and whatever other researches is available. This also enables robopods and has a provider chest, apparently, which we can already make. Oh well. And really, I guess we should be using storage chests instead of provider chests. 
just so the robots can actually return the items if they can't deliver them to us. Let's put down some robopods, if we can find the space for them at least. Maybe we just need to put them out here. So that's a network. Then we just need this research to finish. <coughs> Is it slow because it's a big research or do we need something? No. It is just epic research. Let's spread some robopods across the rest of the base then. Still need more advanced circuits for that. Storage chest. I guess we also need to cover the bus, because I do run around that sometimes. But maybe we just hold off on that for a bit. We need one in here somewhere though. at all? Nope. We don't want it to overlap with the path up there. Robots are eager to do some work apparently, and I guess that's okay, they're just pretty dang slow. Should we research portable generator 2s? They are 3x3 three three entities, which we can't really have in this armor, but maybe in the next one. Don't really read need that, but it would remove it, which would be nice, I guess. Could also work towards the next armor. Let's resume that. What is our logistics rate or robot range? Not too far, okay. You 
knew I shouldn't be putting down belt blue. Can we get Robopod Mark II somewhat soon? No, they are also utility tech cards. So, nope. Can make our logistic robots now, though. We should just set up our logistics stuff now then. If you could just make sure that we always have... ...300 belt. And never more than a thousand to begin with. And with red belt I guess it's just the same. Well, maybe not. Maybe we need more than a thousand red belt when we go to make outposts. Insert us, we need at least a hundred off at all times, but no more than four hundred. Fast insert us. We need hundred at all times. Probably no more than. 200. Maybe we need more than 100 common service. No, that's fine. Long handed, we need 50 to 100. How about underground stuff? 50 to 100, I guess. that I guess we need to put those in storage chests as well. So we can research the next armor level now. I think we should also research faster robots as soon as possible because this stuff is slow. Let's set up some junk as well. Start those down here if we can. Wood I don't really want to be running around with. Coal, not really. Stone. Sand. So the problem with these being storage chests is that they all put my junk into them, which we don't want. So let's make them into passive chests anyway, and then we just put down some storage chests where they can just put well, both junk and stuff that they don't bring to me into. I guess we also put or replace the some of the intermediaries. No re 
reason to be making more chests. I have some right here. Good. Where do we want to put junk? Maybe just here. Provider. Also, maybe steel beams and steel cog, or steel gear wheels should be in a chest as well. Just a bit of it at least. We also don't need more oops, rail than this to be stored right now. Let's bring some grenades just because we don't know how many trees we'll run into. Okay, so that was steel beams just because they take a long, long time to handcraft. Two seconds per. Same with iron beams. Gear wheels are pretty manageable. I don't know, we don't want either. None of the ores, basically. Oceans. Oh yeah, that's from the RPG system. Coke, we probably want one stack of at all times. Maybe only half a stack, and then we return if it we get if we get less than or more than a stack. Just because we wanted to power our armor. This is not where I want that then. There. So now we can actually make our next armor if we produce some processing units. Personal batteries mark 2. Sure. Mark 3 so we can't make without lithium sulfur batteries though, so probably won't research those. the other junk. Glass I guess we do want some of at all points in time. So we can produce some production facilities. But no more than one stack I guess. So robots should come and take some of that away now, that's good. We don't want either. Silicon, I don't think we want. Oh, this needs to be down here, dang it. If I want to separate my junk from my trunk, if you know what I mean. I actually pretty much pretty much like this, yeah. This new UI for logistics. It's pretty nice. So we probably all always want at least a hundred of those. But only up to a hundred and fifty I think. But 80 to 150? That was not right. 100 to 150. 
actually 150. Large power poles. 50 to 100, I guess. <coughs> Why does this keep changing? Am I forgetting to accept it? I guess I was. So pipe we want. They have apparently made sounds for robots. I don't think that's normal at least. I guess not normal, but it wasn't in the old vanilla. Should we just keep 100 of these? Yeah. And then we will automate some underground pipe. Which we'll just do here. We won't do that, we will do it one tile over, where we have access to iron. Underground pipe. Well, maybe that's a bit much. Guess we also want 100 of those. Oops. God dang it, it's a bit annoying that they push each other like that. Maybe these high values is a bit stupid because when I need to go and make an outpost I probably grab quite a lot of these. Maybe I don't actually. Maybe this is okay. So what else do we need? Pumps? Nah. Train things I think I'll grab manually. Because why not? We always want, even though we aren't making them yet, for now 10 construction robots on us. I guess we could set up some of this stuff as well. those, 100 of these, do we need storage chests? Not really. Probably do need steel chests for now though, because at our outposts we'll have buffer chests. We don't need 100 of them though. Just 50. Let's run closer to our junk chests. What else can we request and throw away? No more in this tab. Always want some assembling machines. 50 to 100 should be okay. Minus as well, I guess. We haven't really automated those though, so maybe we don't do that right now. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't, because we don't know if we'll just make upgraded ones. I think that's everything there for now. So iron we always need some of. Two stacks should be fine though. But if we have... We request one stack, but if we have more than three th stacks, I guess we... Junk it. Cover, I think we don't need as much of, so if we have more than two stacks... Junk that. Steel. One stack I guess is enough, and if we have more than two, we 
throw it away. I guess red means that they aren't available in the logistics system. Which is a nice way to say that you can't get what you want. We don't know about all of this yet. Plastic, I basically never want to have in my inventory. So that should go down here, right? Same with sulfur. God dang it, accept it. Batteries, I guess we're okay with having a stack of cars. We do need them for hand crafting stuff. I don't think we'll request them though. Will we? Maybe we will. Always keep 200. Dang it. Batteries. God dang it. 200. I guess when we get fuel, we can replace our coke request with fuel requests. Iron sticks we don't need. Iron beams we do though. Let's just always keep one stack of those. Right. 200 should be one stack. Yep. Iron gear wheels. I guess we also need one stack of. I think 200 is a stack. I'm not sure about that actually. Steel beams. Let's also keep one stack of those. Steel gear wheels as well. Hemicide we will wait with. Electronic components. Do we want that? What were they used for again? Some stuff that we'll handcraft. Maybe we should just always keep one stack of those. Why not? Such an interesting episode, this just sitting around managing inventory. Automation course. I guess we also just want one stack of. I picked some up at the start of building the bus, and I've basically had had them ever since. Actually, I don't think we generally handcraft that much in this, so yeah, we don't need that many at least. Electronic circuits. One stack, please. Advanced circuits. One stack, please. Oops. Processing units. I guess one stack. This is not something I normally run around with, but maybe it's okay now. Not sure if we want any of those. Engine units and electric engine units are basically junk in the inventory, so let's put those down here. We'll just have to pause it when we want to, if we want to handcraft stuff with electric engine units like flying robot frames. We shouldn't handcraft that though, so it shouldn't be a problem. But 
something like exoskeletons and so on. We don't want this stuff in the inventory. Basically ever. Rocket fuel, 15 megajoules. That is less than fuel. Hmm. Whoops. Let's just have a look at... Oh, we haven't researched solid fuel yet, it doesn't seem like. Solid. Oh, it's called rocket fuel, dang it. There it is. So we can apparently make that from all sorts of stuff. Not from solid fuel though. That's okay. So I guess we need some light oil for this as well. And not just for cracking and solid fuel, but that's okay. But these are not very fuel efficient, it doesn't look like. 30 light oil is 15 megajoules. Ten light oil is twenty-four megajoules in this case. So solid fuel is a lot more energy efficient. And fuel even more so than I guess. So why was I thinking about that? Because then I don't want rocket fuel in my inventory, of course. Uh, logistics. But let's stop there for now, because yeah, we've run out of time. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.